Hey, howdy everybody, what's up, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm checking out the highly requested Between the Buried and Me colors. I'm going to check out colors 1, listen to this, give it some time, digest it, and then check out colors 2. This was the last Patreon poll winner. If you notice, I changed the color of my little halo thing in the piano. That's something I realized that I could do recently, and I am going to do that going forward. I'm going to pick a color from the album art that most works and put that here. I figured I'd use the red instead of the the gray, because honestly, I don't know how... Let me test that, actually. Let me pull out my color picker, because I don't know if the halo would just be gray or what... Okay. So yeah, you can kind of see there's a little bit here, but it's not much with the gray. So is there an undo? No. Oh, I didn't know I could use my keyboard to play a keyboard. Like my computer keyboard. That's interesting. Anyway, back to the color picker. I heard one song from Parallax 2 on my last stream, and I thought it was technically impressive, but I didn't think it was something that I'll go back to a bunch. So maybe this band is just not for me, or maybe that song was just a one-off kind of like thing that I was not really into, but it was very like proggy technical death metal, and I didn't like it all that much. I think I gave it a seven so, because it was so technically impressive. Like there was so much going on. These guys clearly know their stuff. But I wonder if that will be something that carries over to this album, because this came out before Parallax 2. I've heard great things about this. I remember when Colors 2 came out, and everyone was freaking out about this. And I did try to listen to this when Colors 2 dropped. I think I got like half a track in, and then I got bored and went back to... And not because I didn't like the music, but because there was something else during that time when that dropped that I really wanted to go back to. 2021... Oh. It came out around the time Mastad and Nirvatan came out, so that's why... I didn't listen to it because I wanted to go back to Mastad and Nirvatan. That makes sense now. Got it. Got it. Okay. Well, that clears everything up. I knew there was something else that I couldn't stop listening to. So when I tried to listen to this, I was like, I just want to be listening to Villarta right now. Piano. Already off to a solid start. Let's go. Piano is always a W in my book. Woo! I love this. The synth arpeggios are great. The mix sounds older, but it doesn't sound bad. Yeah. There's that proggy tech death feel. Good transition? Interesting. Okay. What in the world? What in the world are these lyrics doing? Huh? Okay, um, what happened with the lyrics? I'm so confused. That's insane. Anyway, I don't know about this. Yeah, this this feels like the song I heard from Parallax 2 that I didn't really like, where there's a lot of technical stuff. It's very atonal. It's very, like, all over the place. It's There's a lot of, like, very fast prog death metal stuff. These kinds of screams are my least favorite kinds of screams, where it's just, like, the same thing. All the time. That's probably why I don't like Meshuggah that much too, I think, because of the screams. Um, so I'm I don't really like this so far. It's just not my thing. And y'all know I'm very I'm very set in my music opinions. And I'm not afraid to say when I don't like something that people love. Era, invent animate. And uh maybe I don't know. Two tracks in so far, like an intro to this album. Not really feeling it, but we'll see. This is cool though. This vibe is really cool. very Phrygian dominant. That sort of Egyptian feel. This is good. Yeah, I, I don't like this part. This section is great. I love this. But it's surrounded by so much I don't like. Okay, okay, alright. I Yeah, I, I don't like this. Sorry to the sorry to the fans of these guys, uh, but this is exactly the opposite of everything that I like in music. I don't like the screams. I don't like the chaos. It feels very like all over the place for no reason. the The chorus, chorus of that last song was good, but then it just kept going. Not my thing. Don't like it. Not a fan. Nah. -uh. Let's keep going. 
Okay. This is cool. This is cool. I can get on board with this. This is cool. Wait a minute. This is sick. Never mind. This part's cool too. I want to like this. There's little pockets of stuff that I really like. Like this and like the creepy clown laughy section. And the other section like a minute ago that was harmonically interesting. But the other time that's just like, we're just hitting random notes. There's a lot of talent with these guys. I just hate the songwriting. Ooh. This is happy. I love this, for real, wait. More of this, please. This is my favorite part of the album so far. The last half of this song, I've, I've kind of enjoyed. I like the way that this is flowing as one full album, but also I think that that is a negative for me because a lot of it sounds so much the same. It's a lot of like sweeping riffs and a, a lot of very like atonal a lot of like that so most of the album sounds the same and like the drumming patterns are a lot of the same it's not like and i i just i i don't like that it's not interesting to me i want to like this i just really don't this part's cool too harmonically interesting the synth keyboards lining up with the guitar part here that's pretty cool. I like this. Okay, this is cool. I know it's probably not going to last, but it's cool. And it's gone. Yeehaw! What is what is going on? What's going on with the lyrics? I really like the last half of this song, though. This is this is very good. The syncing is already bad. We are nowhere near that first lyric, and it's been there for like 30 seconds. And now we reach that first lyric. Imagine being a minute and 37 seconds off with your lyric syncing. I've liked this song so far. I don't have to say I love it, but I like it. Never mind. I don't like this anymore. And we have stopped syncing. Okay. What is wrong with the lyrics? Again, I keep having to like hit the button and then it, then it catches up to where it is again. Ugh, this is annoying you more than the music. Let's see, will it scroll? Nope, I have to hit the button again. Oh, there we go, that did it on its own. Is it gonna scroll again? Nope, I have to hit the button. He sang lies, but we haven't gotten to the lives part yet. These lyric syncers have no clue what they're doing. This is fun. It's gonna change too fast, though. Hmm. This is my favorite part of the album so far, is this little section here. Different screams, different vocals. This is the best song so far. This is the most interesting song so far. I've been bored for a lot of the album, but this is interesting. Yeah, I don't like this part. Hey, it's super technical and it's fast and there's a lot of notes. Aren't you impressed? No. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I don't get to be mean with my music reviews often. So let me have this. I'm going to insult this album. Okay, please be like a chill instrumental track. I need this. I need it to just be some some chill stuff. Just hang on, just wait, just slow down. I don't want to go into the last track and have just more of the same. Give me a little bit of good stuff. Nice, okay. Do this for the last 15 minutes on the last track, and I'm I'm on board. Ooh, I like the way this is building. I'm probably not gonna like where it builds to, but I like the way it's building. Again, again, what? How are we already this far? We are two seconds into the song, and we are this far on the. Huh? This is what I'm talking about. What is wrong with these lyrics? Also, why are there so many ellipses in these lyrics too? You shouldn't add any extra punctuation. That's another rule. It's like, stop adding all this punctuation. It should just be the lines themselves. Yeah, I don't like where this is building to. Dude, this sounds like every other part like this on the album. It's not unique. 
It's an album of mostly the same thing that's very boring with little flashes here and there of some kind of cool stuff, but it never develops it enough to be interesting. This line here, the monotonous expression and forced replica of a tired sound, that's how I feel for this whole album. I'm just bored. Oh, uh, there's 10 more minutes of this. What are, the, what are the lyrics doing again? I'm not even gonna- I'm not even gonna worry about the lyrics. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna forget about the lyrics. There's no point. There's no point. I have so many thoughts, bro. I have so many thoughts. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I really did not like that. Please tell me Colors 2 is different. If it's just more of the same, I don't want to listen to it. I will. But I won't enjoy it. I'm looking up reviews of this album to see if I'm missing something, or if other people agree with me, or like, why... Why does this suck, in my opinion? I'm trying to find out why. And I've, I've quickly looked through a few uh, on the website Sputnik Music. I've been looking through a few of them. The overall rating is a 4.2, which is far too high, in my opinion. But some people really, really enjoy this. Some people are like, this is, this is incredible. This is great. This is crazy. This is so good. One guy is really mad that this is a direct pick off, uh, pick, direct rip off of uh of pink floyd dark side of the moon and i have not heard that album so i've heard snippets of it but i've not listened to the full album so i don't know what to say about that um but i i found a review here that i think reflects what i think and i'm not gonna say the whole thing because it's kind of long um but it basically here's some some parts of it that kind of like I, I guess put what I'm feeling into words. Uh, had Tommy Rogers <laughs> had Tommy Rogers learned how to not sound like a bowel movement with vocal cords? Nah, that's true. The screaming in this uh, was bad. I did not like it. It was the same the whole time. It was incredibly boring, monotonous. I that was my least favorite part about it. Uh, my second least favorite part was the actual musicality of it and the instrumentality of a bit of it. It felt like it was so chaotic for no reason whatsoever, and it w I was just bored 99% of the time. And the 1% I did like that was really interesting, I think was kind of good, but I didn't like the majority of it. Here's more of this review. Uh, had they learned how to connect their oft-interesting ideas and melodies so they didn't mash together awkwardly? Nah. That also true. Yes, it felt very awkward, it felt very thrown together, it felt very chaotic, it felt very random, it didn't feel structured, it didn't feel planned at all. I didn't like the majority of this stuff. There were more of them though. Did they still play around with sounds associated with other very distant genres? Yeah, did they manage to make it sound like it wasn't a huge gimmick? Hmm. No, it sounds gimmicky, it just sounds not good, in my opinion. This review continues, the worst part for me was that the fun was gone. They had much shinier production, the mixing was a huge improvement, but suddenly there was this hour-long beast of progressive, Lamau progressive, metal divided up into tracks that were at best boring, informal gluttony, and at worst directionless, everything came off as forced. Yes, I agree. As I was saying, like, it just doesn't feel natural it doesn't feel like this was written to be music it feels like this was written to be, i mean it's music but it feels like it was written to be chaotic for the sake of chaos and to be technical just for the sake of technicality not for the sake of sounding good let, let me hate let me have my let me have my moment of hating come on all right uh <laughs> it feels fake it feels tacked on i i completely ag agree what purpose does it serve? So listeners will say, oh, dude, that was an accordion. These guys are crazy, lol, instead of hearing good music. Thank you. Thank you. I, I had to look this up because I've heard so much praise for this album, and I just wanted to find at least one other person who agrees with me that this was not good. I'm going to give this an actual dog water. I I think, I, dude, I... Oh my goodness. I I was actually upset listening to this album. I actually was so bored out of my mind. I was upset. And it's not just the lyrics thing. It's not just like the lyrics being annoying. Sure, that, that's happened with other albums too. That happened with a dealer album and I said that was a masterpiece. Like, I, uh, it's not the lyrics. That might have been sort of inflamed because of my dislike for the rest of the album. But I, man, I just, uh, I listen to this music and I'm angry. This is one of the worst albums I've ever had the displeasure of listening to on this on this channel. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for this video to get dislikes. Please hate comment. Please tell me how 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 wrong I am. Please tell me how much I don't understand it. Please, 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 please. I want those comments. I want those dislikes. Give it to me. Give it to me, please.
I invite the hatred. Sorry, I guess. Also, not sorry, that's my opinion. Thanks for your support. See you later. Bye-bye.